Hello and welcome. We're gonna draw an XBRZPXL. So maybe it's a very minimalistic paint app. It doesn't even have a bucket fill up uh, feature, and it automatically fills out seams and connects pieces of the same color and automatically mixes borders between two different colors like so. You are limited to a palette that you can see at the bottom of the window but you can actually pick colors so when you mix colors you can right click very carefully and then you can t use that color as well. If you look closely you will see that these are all different. So you can have uh, much variety and of course you can use the, t the config files to set your own palette but we're gonna talk about this a bit later for now um, what I mean you see this is very this creates a very specific style and you are very limited which is great for beginners or people who don't have an idea what to do at the moment when they want to draw so it's perfect for when you want to just have uh, little options and just want to start doing something because you won't be overwhelmed by features and nothing will hold you back from starting to make lines and then they somehow will fall into place. This was made by Ben Porter at Eigenbaum and it uses the XBRZ image scaling algorithm and you can change it a bit in the config file actually. You have to edit a text file to change the settings of the game uh, of the editor and then restart the editor. So let's take a look. To save images you have to press S and then it generates an image file in the folder. But now let's take a look at the settings file. We're gonna start with with the same values for the algorithm scale which can be between 2 and 5 and we're going to use the same value for the scale of the image and we're going to use a different resolution let's go with 500 and 1000 and all it does is in one you get a bigger window and the other you get a smaller window and when you draw you get the same size on the screen and when you save you get images of different sizes. So that's the resolution for you. We're going to set it both to 640. Alright, let's take a look at the algorithm. This can be as low as uh, 2 and as high as 5. So let's see what happens when we start one like that and one like that. Well, when we start drawing here we get these big uh, juicy shapes and over here we get tiny um, tiny pixels so to speak and a much more detailed but, uh, but also a much more um, demanding I would say a canvas let's see what the results look like so this one is pretty smooth and this one is very detailed but also even smoother actually but again much more detail. We're gonna try the same with other numbers 4 and 3. So still pretty big the shapes but a bit more detail and here still pretty small but definitely much nicer to work with than the uh, value of 2, I would say. And let's compare files again. Pretty much similar, but you can see this is a bit bigger chunks. Alright, let's put it back to 5. And now we're gonna have a scale value of 1, and here... Hmm, let's go for 6. This seems to be... I think we can use any value over uh, over zero. So here when we draw in this window 
we get huge chunks, but I think the end result will be tiny. And over here... Oh, we have tiny, tiny shapes, but we don't see the pixelation anymore, so we can draw tr true to the end result. And also, if you, if you draw quickly, like if you move, move your mouse in a non-slow fashion, you will draw points instead of lines, which is interesting, but maybe not what you want, but also maybe interesting. So yeah, check that out. Maybe you'll make some, yeah, some unexpected designs that way. So let's uh, see the end images. What will be the difference? This one is tiny and this one is huge by comparison. So that's what the third um, parameter in the settings.cfg file gives you. It just scales the view. And that's pretty much it. As I said earlier, you can mix colors by placing them next to each other and then right-clicking the little spot between them and then you get new colors. But I encourage you to just check out the app with its basic limitations and see what kind of beautiful things you can come up with. So have fun drawing, thanks for watching, like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Ciao!